We got the motherfucking moon and motherfucking Sagittarius. So, time to go expand your horizon. If your horizon weak or shattered, that's because you're playing advanced seeds and the moon is scorpion. And your demons and devils <laughs> and your fucking desires is looking at you like, yo, you ain't gonna get with the program. What's going on? But no, you're supposed to take full experience and full control over your motherfucking experiences. Your morals, your principles, your meanings, your reasonings, and of course the devil is gonna be playing with you, because of course that's the other side of Saturn. Capricorn waiting over there. Make that full moon in a couple more days. So <clears throat> the seeds you planted from the new moon in Gemini to the motherfucking eclipse to the motherfucking retrogrades to whatever how you want to say or basically play it. All that accumulation, all that energy, all that time, all that work is gonna rain down into existence into your existence so you better have your fucking bucket you better have your clairvoyance your equilibrium your boundaries and restrictions not too hard not too heavy because remember you got to be light as possible on the full moon not too light your ass get took out choke motherfucking glow <coughs> too damn light you receive too much now you heavy hell you got to do some a little bit of equilibrium that's why gotta have a little equilibrium in, in between for me that gap for me because it's that cherry right here you got scorpio on the other side you got motherfucking capcom on the other side don't get your ass caps on the full moon too for me shit, this is status and reality so of course a lot of witchcraft and a whole lot of shit is gonna be practiced on you you gotta do your protection for me also saturn is in retrograde so not only is the full moon gonna be in capcom it's gonna bring past experience with that shit too and Pluto is in Capricorn. So it's gonna bring past power and control issues on the full moon too. Where your ass can get power and control out your flesh. So no, don't don't do that shit. Don't do that. Try to chill, try to chill. You know I mean? Try to chill. Sit back, take a chill pill. Don't take the Morpheus pill. You don't wanna get your ass too caught up into the matrix and shit. You're looking outside yourself, you know? Just reflect back a little bit. You know I mean? like, ease up, little homie. Ease up, folks. Let me just play a little bit of video games because you know you put it once you know you put in a whole lot of work play a little bit of video games sit back chill relax for me don't take ta don't take status and, and, re and reality too strong for me when it's a full moon into a sign don't go to the extremes don't when that cup is full the moon is full she's pregnant man she got took all them babies and all them and all them worms and you know, all them blood cells out of her sit back and chill let her relax man don't no more fucking let her recover first no more fucking aka ideas no more fucking, aka feelings and emotions. No more fucking, too much energy. Relax, sit back, relax. Breathe, smoke a blunt. Sit back, drink some Henny. For me, put in a whole lot of work. Now, if your ass ain't put in work, you got the new moon and cancer to do that shit. <coughs> for me, don't be trying to manifest, oh shit, full moon tomorrow, let me hurry up. No, 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 no. You're only gonna, you, what you need to do, you need to pretend and act like you put in a whole lot of work. For me, that's the best thing you can do, act. Act and pretend like you put in a whole lot of work. For me, the Saturn we're always gonna look at the time. And be like, wait, hold on, this big person put in work. For me, it's like being in the matrix. You know, you got a gun on you. Go through that um, scan tech the machine. You no, know you got that gun on you, but you ain't letting shit stop you. And of course, you ain't. You believe that you're not gonna get stopped. But if you got all that hope and all that faith in the world, <coughs> your ass gonna get to that motherfucking pole. That's real shit. Your ass gonna get to that pole, and you fail. We'll get to that pole. But don't sit here and think just because you ain't put in the earth. Just because you got all that fire and water in the air and you lack the earth, the practicality. Don't think earth gonna forget that shit. Earth gonna look at you like, wait, hold on. Sound good, but how can you be stabilizing this shit if you ain't feel me? That's how earth gonna be looking at your ass. Never forget four. You know what I mean? Because you got the you got the fire, which is the vision. You got the water, which the water, which is how you feel. Then you gotta have some feeling. You gotta wake up out that bed. You gotta do your little boogie dance. Then you gotta do your little bopman for and bopman pull up. Then you gotta do your little air, your little the way you think. <coughs> then you gotta be more stable, <coughs> more practical with this shit. Make it a routine. Oh yeah, but um, with these energies, this is gonna be. How should how should we say? This? Whatever you're paying attention to, it could be a, de a devil, a desire, 
a bondage or an experience. AKA, just sit back and chill today. For me, because Sagittarius like to feel free. I don't like to feel smug smothered and shit. So, like, feel, get comfortable, because the South Node here too. So, South Node represents past experiences, past circumstances, and past situations. Get comfortable today. <laughs> sit back, reflect, and relax. Try not to overindulge, because remember, you got the devil card that's being played on your ass. So the devil is going to be in your experiences. The devil is going to be in your meanings, your reasonings, your philosophical points of views, your spirituality, your religion, all that shit. The devil is going to be there. He's going to be waiting. He's going to be like, yeah, I'm waiting. <clears throat> yeah, I'm waiting. Even though it's two more days. Yeah, I'm waiting. I'm still going to have to. Yeah, everybody got opportunities today, too. Everybody got opportunities today, too. Actually, these opportunities, really. Because the moon is in motherfucking Sagittarius. The moon exalts cancer. So, your ass gonna feel exalted. Your ass gonna feel the need to basically get in your Jesus Christ and your soul of practice. Your ass gonna feel the need to basically rise. Oh yeah. Rise, motherfucker, rise. But let's run down the houses real fast. And we're gonna do the little zigzag with the signs. We know what it's heading for. Yeah. So, with you got Sagittarius in your motherfucking first house, you're gonna be stuck into your morals and your principles and your personality and how you personalize this to other people, places, and things. Feel me? You're gonna be too, too, too out there. Feel me? Not giving a fuck about how other people feel. So try to find equilibrium and balance in between. Try not to overindulge into that perspective. Feel me? Because you're gonna be stuck into your fire, stuck into your passion, stuck into your views and your feelings and shit, or how you feel and express shit. Don't do that. Sit back and chill. Aries, you're gonna have everything what it takes as a gift. To basically express and put, be passionate towards your new experiences and the devils and, and, and desires and shit. But you're going to have personal, personal devils if you got the um, Sagittarius in the first house. Sagittarius in the second house. <coughs> this is the value, the, your desires, and the thing that you, that you compromise with. It's going to be devils there. Feel me? And desires there. Feel me? Try not to get too lost into these things because past experiences of that past experiences that you compromise with will be will be popping right back up, right back in your face, right back in your face, right back in your face. And you're not gonna see it. It's just gonna appear. Because of course, these you, are your ascendants. So ascendants, you can't see the ascendant. You know it's there, but you can't see it. Also, Tauruses, you may overindulge way too much by helping and being out there. Try not to do that. Taurus moves, others are gonna be doing this towards you. Aries, Aries moves, you're going to be attracting what I told you, which is um, perspective. <coughs> also, Sagittarius in the third house. When it comes to um, your surroundings, these are going to be past people, places, and things that you was once in, endeavored with. Personal faces, personal places. These things are going to pop back up. Try, try not to um, put yourself in circumstances, situations of um, being all over the place. Learn how to get more situated into one thing at a time. Because this can throw you off. Be all over the fucking place, doing this, doing that, doing that. Like, try to get organized. Right? Like, I mean, take the time to basically be all being all over the place. Get organized, for real. Being organized, you're going to feel that shit. Gemini, stumble on ascendance. You're going to be... Um, Dealing with opposite energies, but you're gonna be open to all all kind of shit. Also, the North Node and Gemini is there too, so you're gonna be dealing with past experiences and new experiences that's gonna pop back up for you and against you, good or bad. <coughs> you pick. <coughs> what seeds you planted? Also, Sagittarius in fourth house. You're gonna go to the extremes when it comes to privacy and family matters. You're gonna go to the extremes in this perspective. They be trying to control everything, whether it's privacy or family. Try not to overindulge in this perspective. For me, it's not. It's not a place where you want to do that at. For me, try to find equilibrium and balance. You're going to receive the the fruits and the fruits and vegetables, no matter if you indulge or not. But try to sit back and relax. For me, try not to get too personal. Also, cancer some moon ascendants. You're going to be um, dealing with misunderstandings with this um, moon Sagittarius. You're going to be loving and nurturing in ways that people may not. See as normal. Fifth house. Um, this is circumstances and situations of dealing with um, experiences, morals, and principles. You may not have no respect for how you express yourself. You may just be focused on your outlook or your way of being shined on. Try not to do too much of that for me. You get comfortable a little bit. Everything will be cool. 
Leo's, you got the Gift Express. It'll be out there. Six House. Try not to get too lost into um, mundane life for me with your routine and your schedule. Learn how to like get some pussy. <clears throat> Learn how to sit in the tub, relax, get out there, go on a vacation. It'll be out. Also, Virgo, summer on the sentence. You're going to be dealing with um, experiences that you can't make promises. Don't, don't do that. Seventh house. This is circumstance situations with relationships and shit of that matter. You're going to be basically dealing with circumstance situations where you're going to try to um, be stabilized with someone. Try not to look outside yourself. You work on yourself. I mean, you don't need a partner. Once you focus on yourself, you'll be situated with a partner. Um, leave with someone in the sense. You got opportunities to get rich or die trying on yourself. Because this is another exaltation. Um, eighth house. This is being deeply rooted into your desires and shit. But of course, this is not a circumstance situation where you can get too lost into that. You can get out of your desires. Try not to get too lost into these things, really. Try not to look at shit into a wrong eye perspective. But you're gonna be all over the place when it comes to a um, new experience that you desire, desires and shit. <coughs> the devil gonna be here too. So be aware of that shit. Try not to overindulge. Look on both ends. Scorpio, you some of these sentence, you're gonna have what it takes to see how life is not just a dark bubble. There's colors all over the place. So chase what color that you basically best resonate with. And um, you're gonna be receiving this energy too. Nice house. This is circumstances and situations where it's cool to have new outlooks and new perspectives, but if your ass ain't got nowhere to basically plant um, plant a seed and basically be out there and not just getting lost in some circumstances and situations and saying, fuck these people, then you're going to have a circumstance situation where a reality check is going to come in your life. But try not to get lost into what's going on too, too much out there. Learn how to come down to reality sometimes. sometimes and, Get a reality check or get a big check and just look at life as shit is green on the other side. But you're gonna be dealing with a whole lot of experiences and shit. Learn how to like stick with us experience and to be practical. Um Sagittarius Summer Moon Simmons, spotlight on y'all, show us what it's about. <coughs> Damn. Also, 10,000. Circumstances, situations. Well, you're going to be um, too deeply rooted into your status and your career and shit. You're going to be too stuck into that shit. Trying to tell people what to do, what not to do and shit. Learn how to ease up, man. Ease the fuck up. Go smoke a blunt. Stop getting too lost into what happens to society, traditions and shit like that. Tell me. Learn how to just live life. Motherfucker. Not everybody want to live life the how you see some shit fit. Learn how to do things in a new perspective and shit. Try not to get too stuck into doing things. Or, or try, try not to get too stuck into too many desires and shit. The devil is going to be your status and your career and your business. Also, Capricorn, some on the sentence, you're going to be very cautious when it comes to um, taking big risks and, and new experiences in life. You're going to be aware of it, but of course, you're still going to backtrack and do things in your own way. Because <laughs> you're cardinal, baby. Capricorn moves, you're going to be, doing, you're be attracting people that's very cautious in, in, in your perspective. Very cautious. Cautious about you, or cautious about the world in general. This motherfucker can be too cautious, baby, that you, that it may seem like um, they may be coming at you. And of course, the sun is in cancer right now, so opposite energy, world attack, and good or bad. They know how you plan it. They know how you see it. 11th house. This is a circumstance situation where you're going to go through a lot of experiences with the things you associate yourself with or associates. You're going to have a whole lot of devils here, too. It's going to be passive devils coming up, too. So be aware of this shit. Also, <coughs> yeah, past, past people you suffer with, <coughs> it's coming. Yeah. Pray someone in the sentence. You got opportunities to jump off the porch. And making it like doing the sun. Big opportunity. So don't sit on your ass, baby. Don't be lazy. Put your ass up. Go explore. Go experience. Also, Jupiter falls here too. A little bit. But the modality is a little different. Also, um, 12th house, last but not least. Um, this is going to be experiences with devils and desires when it comes to your dreams. Things that you're um, dreaming of or things that you desire to be in. Try not to get too lost into like being too out there in people's lives, being mothers and fathers to people and shit. Like, don't do that shit. I mean, learn how to be a mother and father to yourself. Not everybody that they like, know how they truly do it. And of course, you're gonna find the biggest abundance that the universe is gonna bring into your life. And of course, I see some more in the sentence. <clears throat> you're gonna be dealing with conflict today and tomorrow when it comes to devils. Try not to make life hard. Learn how to have balance with dreams, practicality, and experiences. And you'll be out. That's the energy. 